Good day. Today I will present you an interesting plane from an interesting kind. Twin beam aircrafts represent a particular design of plane. Some of these showed impressive performances to the point of making history, especially American ones like the famous P-38 Lightning piloted by American aces like Charles H. McDonald, Tom McGuire and even Richard Bunk. But did you know that the Soviets had a project to build their version of the P-38? Let me introduce you the G-38. The G-38 was an experimental fighter aircraft developed by Pavel Ignatievich Grachowski Design Bureau. Its history begins in 1934. At this time, the fighter-bomber concept was becoming increasingly popular. It is in that trend that the first plans of the G-38 will be made. It was designed to be a two-seat plane powered by two French Gnome-run 14K radial engines, each having a power of 900 HP. Its armament consisted of four SHKAS 7.62mm machine guns and two SHVAK 20mm cannons in the fuselage. A three-place version of the plane existed in order to add a rear turret equipped with two SHKS machine guns. Its external armament was 500 kg of bombs and optionally RS-82 rockets. Originally, the plane had a wingspan of 28 meters and a speed of only 300 km per hour which is very slow compared to an average of 400 km per hour for other fighters of the time. Grachowski decided to replace its leading designer by the young Ivan who found a solution to increase the speed by 250 km per hour by doing radical changes of design, in particular by reducing the wingspan to 13.6 meters. The main drawback of this new style was the fact that the landing speed was now increased to 125 km per hour against a maximum allowed of 90 km per hour. However, after very optimistic wind tunnel mock-up tests, the top test pilot said I'll need an advantage in speed and maneuver which will guarantee a victory. Otherwise, I will not need to land after being shot down easily. But if I win, I'll land it on any speed. It took less than three months to reach the full size marker. Blueprints were sent to Leningrad's factory in order to build a prototype. Nevertheless, the project encountered problems during the experimentation phase. The first issue was that Grachowski's bureaus had to share its facility with one of Yakovlev's design. Plus, Mr. Grachowski's was focused on designs and inventions, which led to a weakening in organizational structure in his experimental institute. So. Just before the completion of the prototype, the project was cancelled. Even worse, Krachowskis and Evensen were arrested on false charges during the Great Purges of Moscow in 1937. 
Grachowski will spend the rest of his life in Dulac and die in 1946. Evanson will be rehabilitated in 1956. The institute did not survive from this blow and was disbanded. But imagine one second if the project had been completed. The USSR would have had a revolutionary fighter that might have been a nightmare for the Luftwaffe. But had to do with this.